Hello, everybody, once again, and welcome back to the So Weird Podcast. I'm Kat. I'm Melissa. And I'm Emily. And <laughs> we are back for a very special celebration. What are we celebrating, Ooh. guys? So Weird on Disney Plus. It's real. We have not been duped. We all believed John Cooksey, and he was absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. I mean, it's been 16 years since the show was available to watch legally in the United States. I think it aired later in other countries, but yeah, we haven't seen it in 16 years, and now it's out there, and anyone can watch it in the U.S. In good quality. Very yeah. good quality. I actually in English. <laughs> English and French, and I think Spanish as well. I wonder when they recorded or they dubbed these episodes. It, was it recently? Because I've never seen So Weird in French anywhere online. Um, no, I don't know. There, <laughs> so Weird did air in France, though. So I'm guessing they probably did that whenever they did that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've never even heard about it airing in France. So I was very surprised and happy about that. Yeah, I actually, the first three days of Disney Plus, I binge watched all 65 episodes. Oh my and, goodness. Yeah, it, it <laughs> took me a while to power through season three, but I did it. Even you, Melissa, it took you a while to power through season three? Well, it took me like a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I mean, it. I had to like really like get myself through all the episodes, even the ones I didn't really like that much. Like, I need to be able to do this. It was weird because for the first few days, everybody was having, like, trouble with in Disney+, Plus. I guess, buffering problems and people not being able to use it because it's being overloaded, but I had no problem at all. <laughs> You were yeah. probably the first one to watch the entire series then, because you finished yeah. so fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't have work or anything for those three days, so that was why. I did have class that Wednesday, but I just came home and finished off seasons one and two, and <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. Have yeah. you watched the whole thing, Kat? Not yet. I'm actually re-watching this time with my sister. This is the first time she's watched the show since it went off air. She's seen a couple episodes for my DVDs, but she's never sat down and watched the whole series since it went off. So I've been watching with her. We we just got up to Banshee a couple days ago. We've only cool. been doing a few episodes at a time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I just uh, watched Banshee last night and... Now I'm up to Fountain. I just watched Fountain Aww, before we recorded. Nice. Yes. And I was so happy to get to that one because we've always had really bad quality for that. Oh, it was great. It was worth it. It was worth watching it right before we recorded. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite ones to watch so far have been Strangeling and Boo because those have been so difficult to find in decent quality. Yeah. So to watch it t- completely clear, it was like, Oh my god, this is really real. <laughs> yeah, uh, Strangeling and Werewolf for me. Seeing all the monster vision in high quality is kind of trippy. <laughs> so, what were your all's first reactions once you actually got on the app and uh, at the show? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my story with that is actually kind of hilarious. I was planning on going to bed like around 10, 11 o'clock at night and just waking up early so I can watch it. And uh, I was scrolling through Facebook and I realized someone in the group I'm in, the Disney Plus group, said that the app was rolling out. And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> and I checked my app store on my phone and it was there, and I'm like, oh, my God. And so I just, like, started, like, practically running from one end of my trailer to the other, just, like, trying to figure out how to, like, you know, download it and sign in and all that. I was, like, on my computer on it, on my 
phone on my iPad, trying to get it on my TV, but it was just not going on my TV for some reason. And mm-hmm. <laughs> just kind of cheering it so loud. And my roommate was trying to sleep because she had work the next day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the next day, she's like, am I going to have to get used to this now? I'm like, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> But yeah, it was just like heart racing, like this is real. And then I saw So Weird was on it. I'm like, oh my God, I need to watch this. But I wanted to watch it, wait till I was was able to watch it on the TV. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I couldn't get the app on the TV until like midnight. Oh, yeah. Well, you watched it earlier than me. (laughs) I watched the first, like, three or four episodes, like, right past midnight. Oh, wow. Cool. I yeah. was at work when I checked Reddit and saw that, like, everybody was posting about Disney+. Plus. So then I went around, like, announcing, Happy Disney Plus Day, everybody! <laughs> and then they all looked at me like I was nuts. And I talked to everybody into getting Disney+. Plus. <laughs> You're welcome, yeah. Disney. Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I'm actually uh, sharing my uh, account with my coworker right now. Well, for me, um, the launch date was the 12th, right? And the 11th, uh, that night, I came back from Orlando, a, a weekend in Orlando. And anyone who does a weekend in Orlando knows that it's not a relaxing vacation. <laughs> so I was pretty exhausted, but so excited for Disney+. Plus. So that work day on the 12th was like the longest work day ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just like, can I just go home? And then Mm -hmm. my boss scheduled a meeting after work. So I wanted to go straight home and watch the episodes. But no, I had to go to this meeting. And uh, it was just, it was the worst. But (laughs) then I got home and, uh, you know, I eventually turned the app on. And seeing So Weird on there was like, just unbelievable I mean I knew it was going to be on there and we'd gotten you know sneak previews of what it would look like on there and everything but it was just like hard to take in and I I, it took me a while to actually press play because I was nervous actually I thought what if it's not that good of quality like what if if they're duping us or something I I mean seriously I, I sat there for about five minutes just like I don't know if I want to do this and then I did and it's good quality, guys. It's it's much better than what we've had before. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's high definition, but it is definitely very good quality in comparison to what we have before. And I've gone back and I've personally compared the rips I have to Disney Plus, and there is a lot less pixelization. You can tell it's standard definition, not high quality, not like HD, but it's still very clear. I mean, I don't know a lot about, like, HD and all of that, but I know some people uh, who are in the fan and were saying that it's the quality that it was supposed to be. Like, you know, they haven't enhanced the images or anything. It's the way the episodes were meant to be. And we're really lucky that the show is uh, on Disney Plus like that because, you you know, you heard about The Simpsons. They messed with the uh, the ratio of the the image and everything and everyone's so unhappy about it so we got the show as it was yeah Yeah. and I was actually uh, saying this a while ago in the group chat but we are honestly so lucky that we managed to get so weird out of Disney plus because it's like the only show that aired around that time that wasn't co-produced by Family Channel. And that's why the other shows like The Jersey and The Famous Jackson aren't on there. It's like luck of the draw right here. (laughs) Yeah. You know, a lot of people have been talking about that, about why So Weird is on there. And uh, it seems like we're, we really got to give thanks to Larry Sugar and Henry Winkler because they, they helped produce the show. And so I guess they had to sign off on this probably and approve it. So thank you, Henry Winkler. And thank you, Larry Sugar. We are so grateful and so happy about it. I wonder if we can ever get them on for an interview. That would be nice. (laughs) Oh, yeah, we can hope. (laughs) I guess since the episodes are in better quality, a lot of people have been noticing new things about the episodes. What all have you all noticed? Everybody is noticing the boomer line. (laughs) 
I yeah. actually didn't even notice that in my rewatch until everybody else was noticing that. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> what episode is that from? Simplicity. Okay, and what is the line exactly? I can't remember. I've heard it too, though. You guys <laughs> bounce pretty well for boomers after Ned crashes the bus. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, that line has taken off. I mean, we have never discussed that line in the in our podcast. I don't think we brought it up when we actually recorded that episode, but uh Well it's, it's because just, of that meme. The okay boomer. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's pretty funny how like timely that was that somebody picked up on it and now it's just been taking off. Mm-hmm. I can't really think of anything that I personally noticed, although I do know that I noticed a lot, but. Yeah. Um, Something that I noticed early on is I think it's in a website where Irene mentioned something about the crew bus following them. And that's something I don't think I ever picked up on before because we don't really see the crew much until mutiny. But to have them referenced and have that confirmation of, oh, okay, there is another bus following them. That's pretty good information to know. Especially yeah. since we were always debating, like, how is it that everybody fits in that one bus? <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't think it's that much of a debate, though. I mean, the only other option is that they're, like, hiding in the bottom of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be another bus for everybody else. Watching Mutiny, though, like, when we do get to see the boys' room... And you see everybody on the bus, like, it's very clear, like, how could all of those rooms fit in that one bus? Yeah. So it's a lot more noticeable seeing stuff like that in good quality. Mm-hmm. And also, the dragon in Strangeling. Oh, I my God. This is the first yes. time we ever get a decent look at it. I think you're the one who sent the picture of that into the group chat, and I'm like, okay, you got it in the middle of a sneeze. It looks so (laughs) silly. Yeah, that was just, I mean, I was not expecting to see the dragon like that. I thought that the episode was filmed for it to be, like, half in shadow, you know, like, you can't really tell what it looks like. No, it's it's right out there. Like, Yeah, I know, it turns out all that hiding that we thought was happening was just bad quality. Yeah. (laughs) I figured that's what it was, but yeah, that was like one of the things I was excited to see in high quality, and before I even watched any of the episodes in full, I just like went to Strangeling and fast forwarded to that scene just to see if I can see it, and I'm like, okay, that is so good. I mean, (laughs) it's so bad, but it is so bad that it's so good. It's a bad puppet, I guess, but it's such <laughs> great quality. You're really happy to, to finally see it. Um, yeah, and speaking of that, the changeling is... Nobody needs that in HD. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, the dragon, I mean, I it's very noticeable that it's a hand puppet at times and, like, attached to someone's arm. Yeah, I mean, I never picked up on any of that before and now it's just like oh god guys this is not, not good but uh-huh. still fun to watch yeah also, every time you watch and it's about to go to a commercial break i'm still half expecting to see a disney channel thing pop up because like i'm so used to the vhs rips that still have the commercial cuts in them yeah and not having the logo in the corner is just amazing yes. <laughs> And being able to listen to the outro without having them tell us what is coming up next. I know, it almost sounds wrong, like, hearing it clearly, because we're so used to hearing the voiceovers. And then for the logos, I've been working on a couple So Weird vids, and finally being able to see it without a logo in the way, like, it opens up so many more possibilities. And when they announced Disney+, Plus, this wasn't something I thought about at all. But it's so cool that they show all their shows without any logos. Oh, yeah. I thought about it because, you know, I made all those GIFs and trying to crop the image just so that the logo doesn't appear was such a pain. So, yeah, I'm excited for, like, the GIF makers out there to get their hands on this and I make some started. cool GIFs. Yeah, <laughs> go cat. 
I'm honestly kind of tempted to get back into making gifts because of this, but I probably won't. I'm too lazy. Yeah. <laughs> too much work. Yeah, I don't want it to feel like a job, and at some points it was feeling like like it was my duty to do it, and I don't know, it wasn't fun after a while. So, yeah, I probably won't do it anymore, but I want to see more gifts. Please, fandom, please. And that's something uh, so exciting that's been happening ever since Disney Plus came out, was more and more people are talking about So Weird, and people being like, oh my god, I thought I was the only one who remembered this show. Yeah. So hopefully the fandom keeps growing and people still make content for the show. Like Emily's yeah. saying, I really want to see more gifts, more vids, more posts about So Weird. More yeah. fan art. Anything, yeah. More song covers. Guys, we want to hear it. I have seen a little more fan art. I've seen some reviews on uh, YouTube. Some people have been posting So Weird reviews. Um, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a guy going through and reviewing every episode just like immediately after he watches it so yeah all of that we want to hear your thoughts the fandom has definitely been growing just based off our social media because before disney plus launched we were at about 645 followers on twitter and now we're up to 960 i want to say somewhere Wait, there. really yeah there's been quite a jump and then we crossed over to a thousand likes on our facebook page I'm not sure how the Tumblr is doing because I don't manage that. I don't I don't manage any of our social media, but it's very exciting. We we hit 300 subscribers on YouTube. I, I guess the, the fandom is expanding like we all were hoping it would. I have a habit of searching on Twitter for people talking about so weird. <laughs> so, uh-huh. I'll, you know, I'll type in like hashtag so weird into the search engine or whatever just to see what people are talking about. And a lot of people are bringing up that boomers quote. You know, some of the other things people were talking about is a lot of people wanting a So Weird revival or reboot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen someone tweeting Disney Plus a lot about that, actually. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Like, kind of spamming them, actually. But um, Oh, wow. People have been commenting on Rebecca and Molly in the Rebecca episode and whether they were actually in love, which is a common fan theory. So I'm not surprised to see that crop up again. Yeah. But one thing that was kind of funny to me is that a lot of people are just wondering why So Weird isn't on Disney+. Plus. Like, they go on the app and they don't even realize it's there. So, I guess it's not very visible on the app for people. Um, Yeah, you have to search for it. Yeah, which is something that annoys me a little bit. Uh, (laughs) I'm not going to be annoyed because I'm just glad we have it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm in that boat, too. Oh, no, I'm so glad that we have it. But, you know, it's not going to be easy for new people to stumble upon this show because they aren't really including So Weird in, like, the Disney Channel collection on the app. Um, even though it was a Disney Channel original series, it was advertised as a Disney Channel original series. It's not yeah. in that that group on the app, so... It is oh. in the Disney Through the Decades group. Collection. Yeah, which is great. But you have to, like, it's organized by year that it was made. So they have, like, a 90 section. And then you have to scroll all the way over to get to So Weird because it's in it was in 99, you know? Yeah. So, like, people have to be really, like, digging around to find stuff in order to find So Weird unless they know it's on there and they type it into the search engine. I think it's also under kids series. If you yeah, search. I think so. Yeah, but again, there are a lot of kids series. And if you go like series A to Z, eventually you scroll down to the S's and you'll find So Weird. But yeah, I'm surprised by how many people have said, why don't you all have So Weird? And then I have to be like, I found your tweet. It's on there. <laughs> um, huh. But yeah, I mean, it's just been so fun to see so many people talking about this show again. And engaging with it again and discovering it again. One thing that I've grown to appreciate more with this rewatch has been Molly and Irene's relationship. Like, I never realized before, like, they are total besties. Like, it's so much more than, like, manager and singer. Like, they are best friends. And I am here for it. Yeah, their friendship is one thing that I've always admired about this show. Uh, It's... One of my favorite things about So Weird, as an adult especially. Yeah. 
it's funny because, you know, you think, oh, the episodes are in high quality. Like, you know, I'll notice, oh, a design on Fee's shirt or a poster or something like that. But I think just having it in higher quality has helped me focus more on the episodes and the dialogue. And, I mean, there are lines that I'm picking up on now that, I mean, I've heard before, but I've never really thought about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of hearing things before, but never really thinking about, I just kind of noticed how it's been talked about how sad new math really is. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I get it now, hearing it in higher quality, I guess. And also, I have a new appreciation appreciation for Origami. I never really liked that song before, but I it kind of grew on me with this rewatch. Oh, yeah. Way to go. <laughs> I love that song. I think the fact that it it's basically the whole first part of my le- one of my least favorite episodes. Well, <laughs> yes, I, I have to deal with that struggle, too. <laughs> I swear I hate Lau more every time I see that episode. <laughs> Another thing that's kind of funny to me is when we were watching Nightmare, at the end, my sister asked me, so did the writers intend for Molly and Kara to be a thing? Because she picked up on it, too, and I didn't even bring it up. So I'm not crazy, you guys. Other people see Molly Gary, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know, I haven't seen any tweets about them yet, though. I've seen some Molly Rebecca tweets, but no uh, Molly Carey. Hmm. <laughs> if you see the Molly Carey, please tweet about it. Yeah, I will uh, I will at reply your username <laughs> so that you see it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm noticing, like, some little things, too. In Family Reunion, the kid crying, you know, like the ghost kid crying yeah. on the speakers, it never sounded like a ghost kid crying to me. <laughs> and now I can actually tell, oh, that, that I guess that is meant to be a kid crying. Like, it sounds like that at least a little bit. Oh, and also watching Family Reunion, this is the first time I actually realized right off the bat that the guy playing the manager is the same guy who played James Gar. I knew that fun fact mentally, but looking at him in low quality, I could never, like, recognize him. This time I could. It's funny, I knew his face when I saw that episode, but for some reason I couldn't place it. I'm like, doesn't he play somebody else in the series? Even when watching James Gar, I couldn't even really realize it. So I'm glad you brought that up now, I know. <laughs> A couple other little things. Um, I didn't realize Fee's laptop, at least at the beginning, is a compact. Little bitty things like that you pick up on. And Opa, you know, the guy that was from the CIA or wasn't from the Mm -hmm. CIA, he has a Palm Pilot, and it says that Fee's website gets 413 hits per week. I don't know if that was a big number or not. I guess it was, because it would be for us (laughs) today. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, and then, like, in Banshee, I noticed that they had a lot of the same family photos in all the rooms. So there's, yeah. like, the same photo of Molly and Rick in, like, the kitchen and in the living room and in the grandparents' room. Just little things like that. Yeah. But it's been really fun. I'm excited to watch Twin again. And yeah. James Gar, because that has been in poor quality forever. <laughs> yeah, those episodes were really good. I really loved uh, watching Twin in high quality. Did here. you get emotional at all? Watching any of the episodes? Yeah, I cried, like, all the way through season two. And it's weird because I don't never really cry at all the episodes. It's, like, the super emotional ones, like Twin and uh, sometimes Medium. Dang it. Uh, Second gen, not second generation. Uh, (laughs) The one right next to second geometry. Yeah, Strange Geometry. But, yeah, I was picking up on all the feels throughout season two. So I was basically crying in HD. (laughs) (laughs) What about you, Kat? Has any episode made you emotional? I think Rebecca was Mm -hmm. the first one because that was the one where my sister like right at the beginning of the episode was like oh it's Rebecca (laughs) she remembered this one even though she had forgotten most of the others because our best friend moved away around the same time that this episode came out so that one's always a big one so being able to share with her that 
when we talked about it with John Cooksey, like everybody was crying. That was a big one. <laughs> yeah. That one is what got me uh, at the end. I, I cried a little. I had to hold it in because my mom was watching with me and I didn't want to yeah. be too embarrassing. <laughs> but, you know, the version that she sings at the end is my favorite song from the show. And hearing that song in high quality for the first time ever, it, I definitely was very emotional. And also because the song always makes me cry. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, it was awesome. I almost cried watching Fountain just a few minutes ago. I, that episode always gets to me, but it's like getting a warm hug in an episode. I just love that one. Aww. Yeah. Makes me happy. It yeah. was also super exciting to watch Medium in high quality and seeing the photos pan across the wall. And you can actually see all of them. Mm-hmm. And then noticing right off the bat the heavy instrumentals with Rick's theme and how they tug on your heartstrings. Mm-hmm. I love it. I don't know if too many of the cast have commented on So Weird being on Disney+, Plus, but I know Alex Johnson um, made a post about it or two, which was nice. I feel like she's probably the only one who did, yeah. which surprised me. Yeah, Alex, she posted about it on uh, Instagram, saying nostalgia, just in time to binge watch my childhood with the little babe. Probably yeah. referring to her little one. Because mm-hmm. we found out that Alex Johnson is going to have a baby. Yeah, a little girl due in February. So congratulations, Alex, if you're listening. Yeah, and she tweeted out, I hope my little girl loves this show, which is so sweet. We hope that she does, too. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, that's really the only person in the cast I've seen commenting about the show being available. But uh, So Weird's biggest celebrity fan, Jessica Williams, certainly commented (laughs) on it. Oh, I thought Um, that was so cool. I know. So, yeah, that was the first thing I watched from the show in high quality was Jessica Williams' Instagram feed because uh, she posted videos of her singing along to the theme song, which is hilarious. Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew she was a true fan and that she would talk about it as soon as it came up. Uh-huh. I think we're all just so happy that it's available now and... um the it's fandom's been... growing. People mm-hmm. are talking again. In addition to Twitter, we also started a Discord group for p- fans to just talk about the show. Yeah, that's yeah. been cool. In terms of the app, they did get a few things wrong at launch, at least, uh, <laughs> about the show. Like, it says that the show aired from 1998 to 2000, when it really aired from 1999 to 2001. They misspelled Fee Phillips. I call her Fee Philip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we knew that that was going to be the case because someone got a, a lick into their website early. Not someone on this podcast, but someone we follow on Twitter. And uh, <laughs> so we knew that was going to be on there. We were hoping they'd fix it before the launch, but they didn't. Some of the episode synopses are a little weirdly worded. Oh. Yeah, about how they all go to a softball game. That was written by someone who didn't watch the whole episode, clearly. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Another one I liked was the one for James Garr, because it says, Fee meets Carrie's strange roommate, uh, who was the subject of a cryonic or cryogenic experiment. It's like, his roommate? His roommate in college? Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, honestly, I did not pick up on much of these other than what you shared in the chat because I did not pay any attention to them at all during my rewatch. Yeah, I wanted to to soak it all in, so I was looking at the, the summaries for all the episodes and everything like that. But, yeah, you know, it's minor little issues like that, really. Yeah. They all the episodes are up there. I mean, every now and then I go on there and like half the episodes from the season disappear, but it's just a bug that they're still dealing with, I guess. Yeah, some people have commented about not being able to watch a few of the episodes. I'm like, weird. It's so weird 
It's title weird. drop. It's title drop intended that I was able to watch all sixty five episodes in a, an epic binge watch with no problems at all. But everybody else is having all these problems. <laughs> I think it depends on the platform you're watching it on too. That might be true too. Yeah, I heard that some people were having trouble watching Troll on. Yeah. Something I can't remember what it was, but other people on other using like another platform were able to watch it just fine. So hopefully yeah, they're never had that. any trouble on my laptop. There was one episode in season three that I had to keep on. It just kept on buffering, but I didn't realize it was a buffering problem at, at the time. I just thought it, I was having an issue, uh, so I just paused it, watched that ep- that night's episode of Riverdale then continued and no problem so yeah it was just a buffering problem (laughs) yeah I've had no issues but everybody else has been having them all I'm like okay thanks Fee for your magic (laughs) (laughs) wi-fi well you know in general the app has been having a lot of issues like I wasn't able to pause the episode for the longest time and go back to the spot that I was on until, like, last night, it finally worked, and I was able to resume the episode right where I'd finished. But yeah. a lot of people are dealing with that with all the shows, and yeah. I don't know if they, they didn't even have that feature available at, at launch, or if it was just only a few people were able it's, to do that. It's funny, because I have noticed a lot of people having that problem, and I remember on launch night, I watched that one part of Strangeling on my phone or on my iPad. I don't remember which. And then when I got to it on the TV, uh, it was resuming from where I left off. So I had to like backtrack to the beginning in order to watch the entire episode. So I think that's another weird thing for me. For me, the only annoyance has been that you can't keep watching it and sitting down. I have to keep getting up and resizing the screen to full screen and having to click each individual video to get it to play. It doesn't stream straight through like an autoplay like Netflix does. Yeah, I'm thinking they'll probably fix that soon enough. Oh, you're watching on your laptop? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I didn't have to deal with that on my... TV. Yeah, I don't have to d- deal with that on my TV. Well, we I don't... can't all have smart TVs, can we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't like that there's a uh, skip intro button. Like, I wish I could just get rid of that, because I have accidentally skipped the intro a couple of times. <laughs> then I, I just, I, you know, I go back 30 seconds or whatever, but... <laughs> yeah. It's a little annoying. But really, it's it's been awesome. Yeah. And I'm very grateful. We all are. And we're also grateful for everybody in this fandom who's been part of this journey with us, who's been waiting for this for just as long as we have. Thank you for all of your support for So Weird. We're so excited that the show's finally out for everybody to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want to hear from you all. Let us know what your experiences have been like watching the show again and in high quality send us a tweet or on facebook we'd love to to get your thoughts a lot of people have been talking about reboots i think someone said something about a reboot and mentioned our twitter page and then like the disney help twitter account replied to it even though they weren't even mentioned in the tweet and was like hey let us know what content you want on the website fill out the feedback form which is really weird (laughs) <laughs> Disney well, knows about us. I know. <laughs> so, guys, I mean, if you want So Weird to be rebooted or whatever, apparently they, they want to know about it. You Let's know. all go bug Disney! Yay! <laughs> Again! My Let's favorite pastime. Mm-hmm. Let's go spam Disney. Yeah, they do have a feedback form, though, so, and it's pretty detailed. This concludes our little celebration episode of the So Weird Podcast. I'm Kat. I'm Melissa. And I'm Emily. 
thank you so much for always keeping the faith and never give up on So Weird. And who knows, maybe there is hope for a reboot after all. Bye. Bye.